We're answering a question you had tonight. Has the number of homeless people in Shelby County gone up or down in the last year? Jalen Socek is here with the answer, and it's good news, but she explains why homeless advocates are not celebrating just yet. Unsheltered homelessness has been increasing, and, and that's a hard problem to solve. Once a year, the Community Alliance for the Homeless and local partners go out into the night to count how many people are experiencing homelessness, both in shelters and those sleeping outdoors. While it's done in late January, the results were only recently released and found fewer homeless people overall. We're trying not to be celebratory that the homeless numbers are going down. Normally, that's obviously a very good thing and something that we're really happy about. Um, but we know that COVID obviously impacted a lot with the count this year. 739 people were found to be homeless during the count. Nearly 300 fewer people than early 2020. It reflects a decreasing trend over the years. But it also found 202 of the people accounted for in 2021 were sleeping outside unsheltered, nearly double as many as the year before. A lot of people just didn't feel comfortable going into a congregate setting during COVID and a lot of people chose not to enter shelters. Um, some shelters actually decreased the number of individuals that they were allowing in to make sure that they could space people out appropriately. And Advocates believe the moratorium on evictions is one reason they saw a drop. We know it wasn't perfect. We know that families were still getting evicted during the pandemic obviously and still becoming homeless but at the same time we can look at the numbers and tell that there were several thousand fewer evictions filed in Shelby County compared to recent years. Since completing the count the Community Alliance says the need is beginning to grow more families are seeking shelter. They say funding from the CARES Act and the American Rescue Plan will allow them to later provide more beds and housing vouchers but finding housing is another problem area. A lot of our agencies are having difficulty actually finding that housing. So, you know, we definitely need property managers and landlords that are willing to be flexible with some of our providers and our partner agencies to house individuals and families that maybe have some of those, you know, barriers on their background. In Memphis, I'm Jalen Socek.